hello today we have the sketch box may 2021 box it just came today i hurried in to bring it so we could do a box opening so <clears throat> outside the box has art by clara lyrica lyrica i don't know how to say that but it is gorgeous so check that out very cool and let's see what we have in the box. We have two paper, of course. All right, it looks like we have oil pastels. We have Indian Red by Holbein. Indian Red. We have Oxide of Olive, also by Holbein. And we have White also by Holbein. We also have, oh, it looks like more oil pastels in our little bubble wrap. These are Sennelier Artists Oil Pastels. I've got kind of a corally peachy color, which is 236, and a blue, which is 229. These are very cool, very pretty colors together. Let's see, we have a, oh cool, a color shaper, I think is what this is called. And it is like a silicone thing for pushing around the old pastels. Very cool. <clears throat> Already got pastel in my hands. Probably will be more later. Oh, awesome. This is a Derwent Light Fast pencil in Wild Lavender. And I have heard very good things about these pencils. Let's see, let's see lavender color and oh, we've got another pencil this is a Karen Dosh Pablo permanent color and that is anthracite which it says is charcoal gray so very cool there <coughs> we have our card with the menu in it right. and we have this very cool postcard with a llama with a star. How cool is that? By Catherine McPhee. There is her info right there if you want to check her out. Sketchbox sticker is an oil pastel. And we have canvas panels, Pantone canvas panels in gray. And they are acrylic. Um, oh, for use with oils and acrylic. They are acrylic primed already and ready to use. Four inch by eight inch. Canton. Very cool. All right. So that is our May box. Let's see if we can test these out a little bit. Okay, I have grabbed just a plain piece of paper. I think this is probably 80 pound accent or something similar. Um, I work at a printer, so anything that's going in the recycling bin, I just grab. So let's test these out a little bit. This one is the anthracite. And I mean, it's a colored pencil. <laughs> But it seems to go on pretty smoothly. Not too bad. Doesn't smudge very much, which is nice. Okay. Let's try this wild lavender, which the end on the pencil broke for me and it felt kind of gummy. So I'm going to sharpen this in a little bit. Um, but this is wild lavender. And very cool. I mean, it's a pencil. I tend to prefer Prismacolor pencils, so keep that in mind. I like softer pencils, but these seem pretty. Um, this one, the Derwent especially, seems pretty comparable. All right, this is number 229. 
Sennelier Oil Pastel. It is super, super soft. Like, super soft and creamy. Like, it feels like a lipstick. Then we have number 236. Which is also from Sennelier. It's pretty similar. I don't think it's quite as soft as the blue one, though. The blue one really feels super, super, super soft. All right, so the next we have white, which you're not really gonna be able to see. I'm trying to keep it in this little thing so I don't get it all over me. But very cool, so nice and soft. This is Oxide of Olive, I believe. I'm just gonna write Olive. And that is I think I prefer the uh, round pastels myself. And this is Indian Red. And also a very nice soft pastel. All right, and let's try this thing out and see what it will actually do. I can't even see what's in the camera, but we'll try. Oh, very cool. That would be pretty excellent for blending. It's very small though. Most of the ones I've seen of these are a little bit bigger, the color shapers. Um, and honestly, you can get practically the same thing in the nail art section for super cheap. So I'm not gonna lie, all my other ones are from the nail art section on Amazon and they are super cheap. But yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I think I'm gonna have to play with that a little more. That's pretty cool though. That green looks very good with that pink. You can kind of scrape some off and then reposition it and blend a little bit. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what we can make with this. Oh, it seems like it works very cool if you get some color on the shaper and then lay it down on top of a layer of white. That's pretty interesting there. I'm sure I'm using these wrongs. I am a uh, I've never been much of an oil pastel artist. I mostly work in watercolor and sketching and I'm not professional at any of it. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, so that's what we've got so far. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I decided to draw a succulent and I went ahead and sketched that on there with a regular pencil. And then I started trying to get the dark colors in. I started out with the pencil a little bit, but that didn't really seem to do very much on the canvas. Um, so I went in with the Indian red and used that and tried to mix it with some of the green to try to get a darker color. Then I used the blue and the white primarily with touches of the pink as the um, highlight areas of the succulent. The reference photo I used is by Rose Miller on Unsplash, so if you'd like to go look that up, it's very pretty. Um, and I used the color shaper a lot in the beginning to blend, but then towards the end I ended up just using my, um, using my fingers for the most part, just to blend everything out. It seemed to go smoother that way. And I actually used the shaper more towards the end as an actual shaper to kind of sharpen up the edges and push the... Um, pastel around and get it exactly where I needed it to be. Um, so I mostly did it one leaf at a time, laying in the shadows and the highlight areas, and then blending and shaping and blending and shaping and fine tuning. And then towards the very end, I, um, I added some background there, 
And then I went in with the lavender colored pencil and just added some touches at the very edges of the highlights. And with the anthracite colored pencil to add some lining to it just to sharpen up the edges a little bit. And I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. Okay, and here we are the final piece. I decided to do a succulent um, because of the colors. I'm not real thrilled with it. Um, I'm very inexperienced at using oil pastels and it definitely shows. I did enjoy using them though and I'd like to work with them more. Um, I think I probably need to work in more layers and take more time and let things sit and dry like an oil paint, which I also have not done. Um, but yeah, for now, this looks uh, acceptable. It's not good, but <laughs> it's not terrible. So it was a learning experience. So I am glad that I got this month's sketch box and got to try this out. Hope to see you next month. Thank you. This one's going to need a sharpening. That is very soft. It's like, what even is going on there? <laughs>